Well, hello for Mr. Anger. I am standing in my office. This is a different chalkboard, isn't it, than the ones you've seen before on the whiteboards. Um, somebody made this for me, and uh, this is real slate and real chalk, just for the fun of it. Um, so some of you have asked me by email or comments on some of the other videos, and you said, Mr. Ranger, we need some videos for the pre-calculus course. And so I want to talk about pre-calculus a little bit. Um, back when I was in high school, back in the 1970s, yeah. Uh, in fact, I graduated in 1979. And I tried to work through a math course called the, the college level pre-calculus that ACE had, and it was from way back in the 1970s. And it had a, a textbook that went along with it. Um, and it, it was really, really challenging. It was all black and white. Things were not explained well. The textbook was not well written. And honestly, I found it very, very hard to try to manage. Uh, when I got to college and had a teacher, I took Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, Differential Equations, Analytic Geometry, all kinds of math. And did fine with that and found that this pre-calc course really did not help prepare me for any of that. In fact, as I think back to some of the topics that were covered in that, I never did even encounter those in my calculus courses. So... Here's my advice, okay? Here's Mr. Anger's advice. If you are a student, or you are a staff member, or you're the parent of a senior, and you're considering trying to have a student do pre-calc, if there's any way you can avoid it and do something else instead and still earn some credits, that's what I would recommend. For instance, the, the trigonometry paces, uh, I think there's six of them, and uh, we do have videos that go along with that, and it's a fairly new addition, and you actually use a graphing calculator, and it's a fairly decent course, okay? But for the second half of the senior year, I would recommend doing a business math, uh, not a business math, personal finance course. For instance, the one that Dave Ramsey um, has available for teens is a really good course, and you could easily do that in one semester. The other option is the ACE business math course. If you take the second half, the last six paces, not, not the first six. First six are like super easy. They're for students who definitely are not uh, math, math geared students like you, okay? So I would recommend that you do the last six paces if you can't do a personal finance course because they do cover some personal finance topics, insurance, um, social security, uh, payroll, all kinds of things like that, okay? But if you are in a school that is absolutely requiring that for your diploma program, you have to take pre-calculus, here's some advice, okay? You ready? <laughs> Number one, I would look on a website like... Um, it's called Khan Academy. I always forget if it's K-A-H-N or K-H-A-N, but it's Khan Academy. And they have lots of teaching videos for every math topic and science topic imaginable. But the challenge is you have to look at the pace and try to figure out well, what is the topic, what is the problem, and then see if there's a video that might relate to that and kind of explain it, okay? The other option, and I'm not recommending cheating, okay, so hear me out, but the other option is to use chat GPT, okay? You are soon going to be a college student. You are going to be out of high school. You are going to be responsible for teaching yourself, really. In college, you, you educate yourself, and you have to take ownership of, I need to learn this, and I need tools to help me. And if you view chat GPT as a tool to tutor you, okay, and to help you understand it and don't treat it as a shortcut to just get the answer, okay, that would be wrong, that would be cheating, and that really isn't helping you. But ask it questions like, here is a problem, but I need to understand how to find the answer. 
explain it to me in a simple, straightforward way or show me all the steps involved so that I can follow along. Start experimenting with different prompts that you give it. That'll do two things. Number one is going to help you learn the math involved in that pace, those paces you're working through. Secondly, it's going to help you understand how ChatGPT works, okay? And you'll get better and better the more you use the online resource and learn how to ask it good questions and then go back and say, okay, that was pretty good, but I still don't understand steps such and such. And then learn how to train ChatGPT to know how you're thinking and how to help you, okay? ChatGPT is going to be around a long time until it gets taken over by something bigger and better. <laughs> so this is the technology of today. And if you are going to be a college student, I think it would really be wise for you to start experimenting with it and learning how it works and how it can help you be a better student and how to help you learn. Okay? So I'll just be honest with you, one of the reasons, uh, a couple of reasons why I am not inclined to make videos for this course. Number one, it's extremely old, not well written, and I keep hoping ACE might finally get around to revising it at some point. If they come out with a new edition, then I know, okay, that's been around for decades. Then I might be more motivated to make some videos to help with that. I realize that's not going to help you, okay? If you're watching this, you're probably stuck with this old edition. Um, but I also feel like a student who has gone through all the math that you've had, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and trigonometry, you are pretty smart, okay? You already have a mathy brain, and you're planning to go to college, so you need to learn how your brain works and how to find resources like other people besides just Mr. Anger to help you as you move on into university and college to understand the math that you're going to start doing, okay? So I think this is kind of like wading into some of those resources and learning how to do those self-tutoring type of things, okay? So good luck to you. If you have to do this course, find some ways to make it work. Um, I'm going to have a page on my website where I'm going to host this video. And if you guys find some other resources that actually help with this course, and you want to return the favor to other students coming up behind you, send me an email um, and let me know, hey, here's something I found that helped with page such and such or page such and such. And maybe we can create our own uh, resource page to help students coming up in the meantime. All right, so good luck to you. Um, I hope you finish the year strong. And uh, trust the Lord will show you his will for whatever it is that you're going to do after high school. <laughs>